Soaps. My name's Katie Carson. I'm the Duchess of Suds over here on this channel. Do you like my shirt? My mom got this for everybody on the Royalty Soaps team last year, and it's like my favorite shirt to pull out when it finally gets cold over here in Texas town. But they're not for sale. I've had quite a few people ask me, like, where is that in the shop? It was just something that people who actually work at Royalty Soaps wear. So if you see someone in the DFW area with one of these on, chances are they're one of our uh, Royalty Soaps team members. So today we're gonna be making Sugar Plum Fairy, which is one of the soaps I have made, I don't know, probably four plus years, and I do a variation on it every year. This time we have added some little heart embeds on the top. They have like almost a mirror-like finish because of the mica powder we put on them. It's, it's, it's really something else. I can't wait to show it to you, and so without further ado, let's make some soap. All right. Guys, I know this is a remake. However, this is one of the soaps I'm most excited about making this year. I have eight holiday soaps. I'd say this is in the top two because it's getting a makeover. It's getting a facelift. It's getting some darker colors. The fragrance just can't be beat. Uh, this is our number two bestseller. So Peppermint Candy is always number one. Sugar Plum Fairy is always number two. I'm just gonna blend this up real quick on low. It's a little chilly in my studio today so I expect it to be a bit grainy. Awesome. Now this has a hanger swirl in it which is always fun but it also has four different accent colors so it's it's kind of extra. And now while I have the scale out, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in some of my fragrance oil mix. This'll save me a step later when I'm blending. This is a secret sauce fragrance oil blend. So it is proprietary. It smells like a toasted plum pastry with some candied almonds, maybe a little bit of almond biscotti. It's so good. This is like probably my favorite fragrance when it comes to the holidays. Okay, so now that our fragrance has been added, I can start adding in all the colors. So the main color is a custom blend. It is a very, very dark purple, but not black, definitely not black. And then in this container, we're adding some Flash Dance Mica. This is from Mad Micas. Then I have some titanium dioxide going in over there. Now we're gonna add in some satin gray pillowcase and some titanium dioxide because we want this to be a light gray. And then some titanium dioxide into our last container and Cosmic Carolyn, my princess. My Princess Cosmic Carolyn. All right, let's go ahead and blend all these up. I'm gonna try to go lightest to darkest. This looks great. What an upgraded color palette. And yeah, we can begin pouring into our two Brambleberry molds. We're gonna start with our dark purple. Now again, I know it looks black in the viewfinder, but it really is like a super dark moody purple. I'm gonna pour almost all of it in. The only stuff I'm not pouring in is the stuff I have to scrape. Then I'm going to pour in the pink. I'm just going to drop swirl this up and down and then down the middle. I'm only going to make one pass with each of these colors. Next, I'm going to add in the gray. Next is the flash dance color. Ugh, that purple is stunning. Make sure I'm scraping it all out in this go round. And I'll tell you, having the flash dance color in with the darker purple helps you realize that that color is actually purple and not black. <laughs> It has those same red undertones. All right, last color is the white. All right, now it is time to add our hanger swirl. So for this, I'm going to focus on going in like big circles 
and up and down. So I'm gonna do maybe two up and down, like all the way to the bottom, scoop all the way to the top. So all the way to the bottom, scoop all the way to the top. And then before I pull it all the way out, I'm gonna twirl one, two, three, and come up on the edge. So all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top, and scoop down one, two, and three. I think that is gonna yield me some pretty consistent results. We'll have to see. Such a moody batch of soap. But let me tell you, it's gonna get some glitz and glam on top. Don't you worry. So I'm going to wipe down the sides, uh, tap down the molds, and we'll go ahead and get that soap frosting ready. Alrighty guys, we're gonna get started on that soap frosting. So I have that dark purple and then I have a lighter purple and they have been blended together for this really lovely just dark purple blend. And the embeds on top of this bar, oh, they're going to be so stunning. And they're also going to be pretty heavily contrasted, which is what I was going for. I wanted those embeds to stand out. I have felt like in the past, some of the embeds have kind of faded a little bit into the background and I don't want that. I want the embeds to be very, very prominent. I've also tried to stay away a little bit this year from white soap frosting. I really wanted to try out other colors. I think a couple of years I have done like mainly white and that's cool too. I just wanted to do something else. I wanted to try something else. All right, guys, now it is time to add some glitter. I'm adding Mauve Majesty and Silver Stardust from The Good Glitter. I do have a 15% off code down below if you want to get some glitters in time for your Christmas crafts. And just to make sure that these really stand out, I am adding them on before I'm adding in all of our embeds. And I think once I add that silver on here, it is going to brighten it up a little bit. All of my embeds are pretty bright, so this kind of dark gothic look I think will disappear in a minute. The silver has some smaller glitter particles in there, which I think are really helping. These soap gumball embeds. These are kind of the signature look for this soap. They're made with flash dance mica and I really like this mica for embeds, especially in a clear melt and pour because it kind of gives off different colored tones. So there's a little purple, a little pink, and a little bit of red. And of course it's always hard for the camera to pick up all of those specific things, but I promise in person it's pretty obvious. All right, and now for the second embed. I have these little silver hearts, and when I say silver, I mean they look like they almost have a chrome finish on them. They're almost mirror-like. I just decided that Sugar Plum Fairy needed, it just needed to be silver. Um, as I was continuing to look through my designs earlier this year, that's something that I just kept feeling was like, Sugar Plum Fairy needs to be kind of icy. Um, it needs to be more cool toned, more silver. And so I took out the gold accent. I feel like I also use a lot of warm colors in my Christmases normally. Lots of gold accents and not a lot of silver. So this year with the more modern Christmas looks, um, all the silver came into play. There's a lot more cooler toned soaps, which I found to be quite a design challenge for me. And that was fun. I was really aided by some pre-picked color palettes. Sometimes I will just go through miniature branding packets that people make. There's a lot on Pinterest, but you can find them basically everywhere. Um, just to see kind of the mood and the feeling that different colors paired together create. This was something that Skillshare also helped with. Um, they do some color theory classes and you guys know probably from over the years that sister's not very good at color theory, at least with remembering all the terminology. Some of the concepts I can remember pretty good, but remembering all the words and what like the difference between a shade and a tone or a hue is, 
is difficult. I do actually have the Pantone like color swatches. Those were gifted to me by my fairy godmother. And she, let me tell you, that has made a world of difference when it comes to design. It's really helped me see how different like undertones and colors being cool toned or red toned or green toned, kind of warm toned, which is like yellow, affects the overall finished look. It's been super helpful and I definitely recommend either taking a class on pairing colors or maybe reading like a blog post or whatever like that. If you're getting started with designing soaps that are pretty color heavy, I think if I had done that earlier in my uh, career, I would have been very, very helped by that. Occasionally, I'll get requests from people to give constructive criticism and feedback about their Etsy shop, um, their soap designs, et cetera, et cetera. And the most common issue that I probably see, besides not adding enough colors, so getting a lot of muted tones that they were upset were muted, it wasn't a purposeful design choice, um, is bad color pairings. So mixing things that just don't look pleasing to the eye. And then also poor photography. So it doesn't take a lot to get good photography anymore. Uh, I have a pretty low standard for good photography. I just want things to look clear and in focus, um, not using a bright flash with a dark background and what appears to be a room at night. Um, that just never sells product well. So natural lighting in the background, um, having a clean background, even if it's a simple background, you don't have to have a lot of props. There's lots and lots of different styles of product photography, and you can have a very, very minimal one that still looks really good. Again, my personal standards for photography are pretty low. Um, I would say, but that seems to be a hard thing for a lot of new soap makers that I'm looking at to uh, kind of master. So again, I would watch a Skillshare class. I really would. I can't tell you how helpful it is to have an expert in a field break things down for you uh, in like a way they would explain it to a toddler. <laughs> I mean, obviously they're not being condescending. It's just breaking things down in a way for someone who has maybe never heard some of the terms before. Some of the more intensive classes I've taken on different platforms just assume you know a lot. And I prefer to take classes that assume you know nothing. I do think I need a little bit of Silver Hollow and I do think that in the future, I will add a Cosmic Carolyn Mica Drizzle to pull some more of that pink up to the top. I'm just worried it's looking a little too dark. I don't want this to be the gothic sugar plum fairy. And that's it, we're done, wow, that actually went relatively fast. I'm surprised. Okay, let me spritz this with rubbing alcohol. This rubbing alcohol will probably bring out some of the shininess in those soap gum balls a little more. This looks like the silver heart and the crystal ball emojis. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so pleased. This really does look so good. And that silver on top, chef's kiss. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we'll come back and see how that inside looks. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Uh, we'll do all that after this quick commercial break. I am loving the look of this purple on top of this soap. And for once in my life, <laughs> it looks like I actually placed all the soap well malls where they're actually supposed to go so that nobody's gonna get sliced. Gonna press down gently, la 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 la. I hope this looks the way it's supposed to. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I can't wait to take all the bars out because these soaps are always ones where it's like, ah, <laughs> every single bar is so unique and different. I love it. It's literally perfect. Ooh, I like this one. That's really cool. Well, I'm definitely loving the upgrade for the sugar plum soap. I think that this was helpful and I think that it kind of adds a little bit of something different to the collection. I think in future batches um, with the Tempest mica, I might end up adding a little more purple to them just so that you know, oh, that's not black. It's, it's definitely purple. <laughs> okay guys, question of the day. I want to know who your favorite, and I think I may have asked this before, but it's something that needs to be discussed. 
Um, in the Nutcracker Ballet, which is your favorite dance? Also, alternatively, if you've never seen the Nutcracker Ballet, I would definitely recommend watching it. It is a very, very, very beautiful, timeless, classic way to enjoy the holidays. I'm really obsessed with this. It smells so good. This is another one of the bars I'll be keeping for myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like the new look of Sugar Plum Fairy. You'll have to tell me which variation is your favorite and then maybe I'll pick everybody's favorite for next year's soaps. But as it is, this will be available the first Saturday of December. All of the information is on the screen now. We have already done the bundle pre-orders, but all the individual bars will be available on that day with some of the more exclusive soaps that I made like the TikTok frog soap and the duck stamp soap. So if you're really wanting to get something just in time for the holiday season, be sure to set your alarms. If you want to see more content, you can pop on over to Instagram and TikTok. I don't post on TikTok as much as I would like to post over there, but it is shorter form content and I do make a lot of the same soaps I make here, but in like one minute to 30 second versions. I hope you all have an amazing day. Please do something fun for yourself today like making an advent calendar. Ooh, you could buy one, but it's a lot of fun to make them. My mom always did that um, with like little pieces of paper and then we'd do something festive all the way up to Christmas day. So it'd be like watch the Grinch on TV or string a popcorn garland for the birds outside, that sort of a thing. And I don't know, I think that was a lot more special to me as a child. Or maybe you'd like to make some salt dough ornaments. I'm gonna make some ornaments with Lily that look like circus cookies coming up. She doesn't know that we're doing that, but we are. I'll probably put that on my personal Instagram for all of those who are interested. I also did just recently on my personal Instagram do a couple of Instagram reels and I did giveaways over there to small businesses. So if you're interested in free stuff, you know, you might want to give me a little, little follow over there. And uh, I will see you guys all on Saturday for the release day video. It is for a brand spanking new soap design. It has frosting on it. It's really fun and colorful. The colors are great. Anyway, I will see you guys then. Have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Yeah.